Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is May 30th, 2016, Memorial Day. Before I start the video, I'd, I'd like to uh, thank all the men and women who uh, serve our country in the armed forces. Um, what a great privilege it is to have these men and women serve for us, um, all of the fellow Americans, especially on this day that we remember those who gave their lives um, in service of us and the country. And, and I'm always reminded of scripture when Christ says, uh, no greater love does man have than to give his life for his brother. So these men and women who have gone beyond this regular service of the country and gone and given their lives for it on this day, uh, we remember them in our prayers. So as you can see today, what I'm looking at is a swarm of bees that have moved into this swarm box. Now, I've been, these bees moved in here uh, two days ago. And what happened was that they actually did not move into the box, but rather they moved into, there's a hole right above that post um, where they moved into. Two days ago when they moved in, I was here and I had the box set up because two days prior to that I saw the scout bees going in there and I set this box up. Well, two days ago I shot some video of those bees moving in. I'll give you some of those and some of those pictures right now. So check this out. So what I'm going to do this morning, because I know there's a lot of bees uh, in there just from what I, that swarm that I saw, I'm going to actually um, add another uh, stand below this one right here and uh, remove that one and then put the bee box on that because I want to get the bees away from that post up there and I want to uh, get them to, to be a little bit further away from that box so as to don't give them any kind of help in letting stay up there, but get into the box. So I'm going to go ahead right now, I'm going to add that stand below this one and then move, move that box onto it. Then I'll be back this afternoon to, um, to add another deep onto that. So I'm going to get busy doing that right now. As you can see, I've created some confusion. All those bees that were orienting on that box where it was, they're going to just have to figure out that it got moved down a little bit. But I want to move it down for two reasons. Uh, one, to add another deep onto that this afternoon and to get them away from where they're clustering on that pole going up inside the building at that point. So hopefully this this plan of mine is going to prove true and by this afternoon when I come back they'll have found it and I can add that super to it. So until this afternoon let's see what develops. It's been a little over two weeks now uh, since I actually got these bees to, uh, to move into this start to move into this hive and now they finally have uh, actually all gotten in there uh, came out here early this morning today is already the 7th of June and I came out here early this morning about 515 and I closed it up and uh, so now it's about 830 and I'm getting ready to load it up in the truck 
So it took them almost two weeks to actually decide to move into the box. Because when they first swarmed here, as, as you'd seen, they had actually tried to go up inside the building right there. Um, the lure of the brood comb that was in the box got them to actually move into the box. And as you saw in those pictures, they were, they were actually standing on the box um, going up inside of there. But they finally did decide to move into the box and, and now the few that were up inside of the, uh, underneath the building, they actually have moved into the box also. So with that being done, I finally could come out here and close it up and bring it up to the abbey. So this is the, the last hive that I've taken out um, from the beehive house. And uh, before I close, let me, I want to do a little recount on, on the, the, what, I, what I've done on, on out here at the Beehive House uh, just this year. Now, so I removed one of them from right here, and then right below it, right, right here, this is the one I did just the other day. I removed this one just the other day. That's two. I removed this one right here, which was, no, this one right here, which was three. This one I removed last year. This was three. And then I removed that one, which is four. And then the one swarm that was in this position right here, which was five. And then I caught three swarms in, in the traps. So that's eight hives that we removed from underneath this house this year. And this hive right here will now be the last one, I think, uh, for this year. I say that because it's pretty late in the year, and I don't know if we'll be getting any more swarms, but I'll still be checking back. So I'm going to go ahead and load this hive up into the truck now, and, uh, and bring it up up to the Abbey. It is God has blessed blessed me abundantly with highs from this house. I hope that, that uh, the blessings continue with the success of Abbey Honey and that these girls will uh, have a long, prosperous, and fruitful life at St. Joseph Abbey. So I'm going to wrap it up with this and thank you for watching. Keep on watching and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, out.